Welcome Aquarius to your in-depth monthly forecast for August 2024 for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. I'm going to share the event chart right at the start of the month shortly on screen but before I do I just want to tell you about a very special opportunity. If you order your unique personal horoscope for year 2025 now I'll give you the rest of year 2024 free, plus you'll get 30% off and also your life roadmap report. Please see the link beneath this video so you can check this out. If you know your tropical astrology really well, why not check out my Draconic version? Same offer, the rest of this year free, all of 25, plus your Draconic character analysis and also 30% off. On the screen now, I'm sharing the event chart right at the start of the month. And your two rulers that we always need to be mindful of, of Saturn and Uranus, are very much in the mix. Saturn's squaring off to the position of Jupiter at the start of the month. Jupiter's in a very exuberant location and can be about be, being very go-getting and progressive. And it is going to forge a sensational link to Mars, which does peak on the 14th. But right at the start of the month, Saturn's just saying to you that when it comes to resources, be a little bit steady eddy. If there is something that's really exciting you, make sure that you find out more information to begin with. Now Uranus, your other modern ruler, continues in your fourth house home family emotion that's square enough to the position of Venus around relationships you could find that you want a bit of space from someone at the start of this month it may not be terminal but if there is a relationship that isn't quite working for you this can be a challenging influence it can also be a prod to try to rejuvenate things by doing some fresh things together. So if you're in a relationship that has become a bit stale, trying to reignite that original passion you had could come from some spontaneity. So those are the roles of your two rulers as we come into the month. But as ever, we need to be mindful of the two luminaries. The sun's in your sector of relating, like Venus, and forging a fantastic angle to Mars. Mars, like Jupiter, is in your fifth house, which is very much to do with strutting your stuff with confidence, vigour, and no little sex appeal. So that link to the sun is very energising and really quite lovely. But also the sun links back to the position of the point of destiny or the north node so your way of conveying your ideas can also be very helpful and if a relationship has been uh, hitting a little bit of a flat spot the fact that chiron in its retrograde but like the north node in your third house of everyday conversation is actually linking well to venus so maybe the angle from uranus to venus is a chance to bring some honesty uh, to an issue that perhaps has been causing some snags but the other thing that lights up the start of this month is that whilst uh, Saturn is afflicting Jupiter the Sun surely is not and from the third through to the 11th there's a glittering uh, relationship between them which threads through the new moon of the fourth and if you are someone who wants to socialise and interact with others, as long as you're a little bit canny with your resources, and if there is somebody that you fancy, you're not uh, uh, giving them too much of, of a big gift or uh, making a grand gesture, I feel it's a time just to relax and go with it. People will appreciate you as you are, so don't feel you need to try too hard. But as we go into the new month, I just must say that when it comes to that financial matter that Saturn and Jupiter are flagging up, we also have a square between Neptune and the Moon. So you may find yourself wanting to be a little bit extravagant at the start of this month, but it could be because you're not quite feeling uh, the positivity that I'm pointing to. But give it a few days. As you work into this month, there can be some big uplift. And that new moon is a great opportunity to make some very positive links to others. 
This could be linked to business, to be honest. Venus is the planet of money, not just of relating. And that moves on the 5th into an area which could see you pull off some kind of deal. Strangely, because Mercury goes retrograde on the same day, it's also an opportunity to think about your ongoing financial management in a fresh light. I know that Mercury retrograde has a really tough reputation and it can be deserved you know it can cause snags the eighth house for you could be about moving money around so we know there's a lot of scams out there these days with mercury retrograde from the 5th through to the uh, 28th important to be very cautious about resources but particularly through to the 15th then it moves back into leo so the rub point then through to the 28th could be more about clearly communicating what you need but the other thing that happens at the heart of this month is there is a tension between longer term money and shared finance and what you do in the here and now short-term decisions and that really is there at the start of the month with Saturn and Neptune conflicted by Jupiter and the Moon, uh, respectively. So managing your resources in a balanced way, a little bit like the two of coins in tarot, is something that actually can come back to you very positively. Because on the 19th, there's a Mercury Kazemi. And if you have been having lots of discussions, whether it's with your bank, whether it's about raising capital to buy a property, whether you're looking to lease somewhere, and you're having to uh, show what your ins and outgoings are, try to be as transparent and clear as possible. Because as Mercury goes opposite Neptune, it does get a bit muddled at one point. And for sure, from the 17th to the 21st, as Venus goes opposite Saturn, there could be a bit of a tense few days, but you can come through this. And that Mercury Cosimi on the 19th sees the glow of the sun light up the uh, critical faculties of Mercury, and it's going to help you to articulate yourself really clearly. Now, the full moon in your sign on the 19th is interesting. Because if there is a relationship that isn't working, you may actually want to make quite a fast exit. Why would that be? You're someone who's usually all in because you're a fixed sign and you don't necessarily find it easy to move on from something that's settled. Well, the reason is the combination between Mars and Jupiter, which reaches a high point on the 14th, is giving you a lot of self-belief around your personal attractiveness. And if there is a relationship which just feels that like it's a lot of give and not a lot of get, your modern ruler Uranus forges a T-square to this particular full moon. And because Uranus is in the fourth house of where you live, how you live there and your emotional world, that need for space could be very, very strong, particularly with sun, the sun moving into your eighth house of deep transformations on the 22nd. By the 28th, as Mercury goes direct in Leo, your clarity about a particular relationship issue really starts to fall into place. And then with Venus, the planet which rules relating, moving into a part of your chart that's very much to do with truths, but also freedoms, and linking brilliantly to Pluto in your sign for the first time in 220 years, the clarity that is developing from the muddle at the middle of this month, whether it's around resources, uh, finances, or a close relationship, or a business tie, you really are going to get the outcome by the end of this month. And it may be a much better outcome than you think might be possible. So do roar into this month with a lot of conviction and confidence, Aquarius. There's a real chance to shine and sparkle, but just be aware that when it comes to resources or values, that's where there could be some sticking points at the very heart of this month. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honored if you did so now. About 50% of people who watch my videos are not subscribers. Please help the channel to grow by clicking that sub button and also that bell notification symbol. And please check out that special offer below.